Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we learn how to make this puffed rice Chinese fritters. So let's get started. For making our puffed rice Chinese fritters, here in a large mixing bowl, I'm taking one cup of puffed rice, also known as jal mudi or kurmura. And to that I'm adding half cup of finely chopped cabbage, half cup of finely chopped onion, this is one medium size onion, one fourth cup of finely chopped capsicum, one fourth cup grated carrot and two to three finely chopped french beans. Now to that I'm adding one tablespoon of finely chopped ginger and garlic. 2 teaspoon of dark soy sauce, 2 teaspoon of red chili sauce, 1 tablespoon of shays 1 chutney. I'm adding salt, you can add it as per your taste, and half teaspoon of black pepper crushed. Now give it all a nice mix. If you are new here then consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will be notified every time I post a new video. I forgot to add tomato ketchup so here I am adding 2 teaspoon of tomato ketchup. And now for binding I am adding 2 tablespoon of brown flour that is basin of white flour this is a mixture of rice flour corn flour and fine wheat flour that is maida it's an equal proportion that is two tablespoons each we are going to add it as per the requirement so uh, first bind it all together nicely coat the flour on puffed rice and vegetables mishmash the puffed rice with the flour so that it forms a nice dough like consistency if you like this video so far then don't forget to hit that like button and also leave a comment below if you find it difficult to work with then add around a teaspoon or two of water don't add too much otherwise it will turn runny and we don't want that we want a nice hard dough like consistency Instead of adding water now, you can also pre-soak the puffed rice like how we do for our poha. You can soak it and then mishmash it along with the vegetables and sauces. You can do it as per your liking. You can add more flour as per the requirement. If you don't have all the three flours, then you can also add any one or a combination of two flours. But if you add all three, then it's going to give a nice texture and crunch to your pakoras. Heat up some oil in a kadhai and now we are going to quickly fry it. Take a bite sized portion of the mixture and roughly shape it with your thumb and finger and quickly drop it in the oil. Similarly, I will add six more pakoras. Since we are making pakoras, I am giving it an uneven shape which is going to make it even more crispy. You can also roll a bite sized portion in between your palms and make a smooth ball or a nugget like shape and you can fry that as well. But I like such uneven crispy pakoras so I am going to keep it like this. On medium high flame fry it until it's crispy golden brown color. As you can see it looks so pretty and now transfer it into a tissue paper to absorb the excess oil. If you like such fusion recipes then do check out my fusion recipe playlist. I will link it at the end of this video. And our puffed rice Chinese fritters are ready. You can serve it with tomato ketchup or shays 1 chutney and enjoy. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video with your friends and family. I come up with new videos every week. Until we meet next time, keep munching.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel and also follow me on my Instagram and Facebook. Links are in the description below. Bye.